Gina Webster, your host for Inspiring Author TV. And today I am going to interview John Timmins. Hi, John. G'day, how are you? Yeah, I'm very good. Thank you. So, John uh, brought a book and it's called Rusty Love Hanging with Old Cars. So, John, can you tell me more about your book and why actually you wrote this? Sure. Um, old cars are a passion of mine, they always have been. Um, so, and ever since I couldn't use a camera, I've been taking photos of old cars left in paddocks, under trees, behind sheds, things like that. There's just a desire there for that, I really like it. Um, so I thought, one day I'll make a book about it and share my passion, because I'm sure there's others out there that, you know, like the same thing, but they don't get time to sit and look or take photos or do whatever, so I thought if I can make a book about it um, and share what I, share what I like. Mm -hmm. So this book is actually a collection of your photographs? A collection of my photographs, a collection, oh there's a little bit of my artwork in there, there's some poetic verse in there as well. Um, it's a book to just lose yourself in I suppose, um, to look at the images, um, maybe think about cars that you might have had that are in the book now, um, or yeah just a daydream. I suppose. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a bit of a book to sit and down and daydream and you can put it down and pick it back up again where you left it. Okay, so it's basically a hobby, isn't it? Like it's your hobby and your interest? Yes, yes, it's my thing. It's, it's mm -hmm. the thing I like. It's, um, I love old things and I love dilapidated old things. Things that have been weathered over time and just mm -hmm. left. Um, I find that fascinating. Yeah. And do you know many more people who are interested in the same topic? I'm sure there's plenty out there that are interested in cars in general. I'm not sure about, oh, in today's world it seems to be that the, the nice, shiny, bright, new, fancy car um, isn't the way to go, it's a, especially car shows and old car shows and things like that, it seems to be that the old rusty cars are the ones that people want to drive to the car show, it seems to be the theme that's out at the moment. So I think this is a, is a, good, is a good start and I think it will appeal to a lot of people. Are you a member of some special club of like classical cars or old cars? I, I have my own classic old cars, but I like to remain a bit of a secret when it comes to that kind of thing. Um, so you want to keep a secret about that? Yeah, I don't like, I'm not really a club person to go there and uh -huh. join the click of a club. I do like to just hop in my car and go for a drive, and if you see it on the, you know, as you're out driving, well, it's, it's a bonus, but yeah, I'm not mm -hmm. one to go and, you know, hang out with others. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I didn't read your book, but I find it very fascinating. Um, what's these cars? They're all from like Australian cars yeah, they're or all... they're like from all over the world? There's cars there from different countries but they're all photographed in Australia. Uh -huh. um, I've been all over Australia and whenever I'm out driving, doing road trips or anything like that, for whatever reason, I'm always searching, always got a third eye out looking for a car in a paddock that I can quickly pull over and, you know, take mm -hmm. a photo of. Do you have any uh, favourite photograph in this book you can show us? Oh, like look, this... You associate with certain memories or with certain... Oh, it's like asking my favourite song. There's so many, like, they're all got a certain... Yeah, mm -hmm. that I could... You know, I could talk to you about each and every photo for about ten minutes, but they're all... They all mean something to me, that's why they're there. Um, and I do, I just... Yeah, there's no favourites, they're all favourites. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, what car do you own? Uh, like, you drive a... Uh, I drive a... Old car? No, it's, it's old car for me. It's uh -huh. always been old car for me ever since I was 17. Um, it's got to have mm -hmm. chrome bumpers on it, otherwise it's just another car on the road. Um, I drive a... I've got a 64 Fairlane, um, uh -huh. and yeah, others as well, but the 64 Fairlane is probably the pride and joy. Uh -huh. um, so what do you normally do with cars? You just photograph them or you just um, like renovate them? I like to, when I'm looking for a car, I like to buy a totally original car that has the original paint on it so it hasn't been touched and there's no secrets or anything like that underneath it. Mm -hmm. I like to make sure it's mechanically sound, but I don't like to pretty them up. I like to leave them as they've deteriorated over time. And providing they're a good solid thing uh -huh. to begin with, I'm quite happy to leave them. So you basically, like, you don't uh, do anything, don't do them up? No, I've been there and done that, and I find more satisfaction out of driving something that's Some proven it's 
its existence by yeah. you know the the battle scars it has around it. You know what I mean? Yes. Things like that. Yes. I find that more appealing to me uh -huh. um, than say your know, nice, pretty shiny new paint job and fancy wheels and. Uh -huh. yeah. But you make them. Um to the point that you can drive them. Yeah, they've got to be roadworthy, they've got to be safe, they've got to do everything they're supposed to do. But you know, as and far you do as it yourself. I do stuff I can do myself. Time's a limit for me. Um, so, but I usually try and buy smart the first time, and uh -huh. buy something that only needs limited thing, if anything at all. Um, but yeah, I don't mind tinkering around with them as well. Okay, so you uh, you actually a mechanic? Not a mechanic, just an interest. I have a big interest in it. Um, more of an interest in getting out on the road with them rather than getting all nitty and gritty and working on them. Um, I think I'm too tall for that. Uh, so yeah, just getting out on the open road with your window out, with your hand out the window and just enjoying the yeah, enjoying the freedom of it. I think that's mm -hmm. what I like more than anything else. Yeah. What's uh, actually the most appealing thing for you, like uh, in in all these interests? Like, what's the most uh, kind of you like? in all cars. If it's I, like the look or the feelings or what it is? It's a bit of everything. It touches all avenues there. The look of it, I love looking at them. Like the cars I have at home in the garage, they're not covered up with sheets or anything like that because I like to walk into the garage and if I'm not driving it, at least I can see it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it, it kind of justifies having more than one. Mm -hmm. um, nothing's better than coming to a paddock that you haven't seen before that's kind of got like a dozen old wrecks sinking in the ground. There's nothing, mm -hmm. like the feeling I get in my chest when I see that is just, I can't describe it, I just, it's, it's, it's great. And if I've got my camera with me, then you've lost me for about two hours while I take photos. That's extraordinary. Yeah, so. Yeah, really, really, it's a good thing. Really, yeah, yeah, really great. So this is your first book, I believe. This is my first book. Um, yeah, it's... So how many more to come? I would like to do one that's more truck orientated because there's still chest for trucks and buses and uh -huh. you know bigger you know bigger things like that because there's still plenty of that out there and then I've got another one of these up my sleeve I think that I would like to because there's still plenty more that I haven't photographed which I'm gonna jump in a car and go and find mm -hmm. and um, yeah if I can get enough I'll, I'll give another one a go as well okay so the another one would be trucks uh, trucks and then another one would be what smaller car or no same kind of deal but just in different surroundings. So it's the same kind of rusty love kind of mm -hmm. avenue, but yeah. So you're planning three books so far? Three books? At, at the moment. Three but books. But in the future you will who decide. Who knows? Yeah, who, yeah, that's right. We'll just, it can go on and on. They can keep going because yeah. while they're out there, I'm just going to keep photographing them. So. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to do something with the photos, so why not? Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. I'm sure uh, there are many people around who have the same interest. Well, I think so. Um, so we'll just yeah, go with that and see where we go. Yeah, so yeah. Um, do you have email address? People can contact you? Yes, um, email address is Classic Old Car Secrets. So, sorry, www.classicoldcarsecrets.com. Um, if people want to purchase the book or Send me an email. Or and email address would be in the same. Um, yeah, same name. as it. Yeah, same as same. that. Yeah, that's okay. right. And even if people out there have got a paddock full of old wrecks that they want to let me go and take photos of, I'd be most appreciative of that too. Okay, so uh, your um, website would be www.classicoldcarsecrets.com, yes. and your email address is. Uh, uh, www. No, no email address. Email address. Yeah, just classic old car. Cla sorry, classic F old car secrets, secrets at, at outlook.com. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, John. Thank you very much. Yes. It's a pleasure talking to you. Yes, and thank I learned so much about old cars. There you go. Which I, which I never <laughs> knew before. Never knew before. All right, well, that's good. <laughs>